sorry, I'm not the most pretty. I'll never. Hello, my lovelies. So today I'm gonna teach you how to put clip-in hair extensions into a bob haircut like mine, like a short, blunt haircut. One of the things you are gonna need to remember is that you're probably gonna have to have your hair thinned out in order for these extensions to blend. I've had mine thinned out twice. But if your hair is on the thinner side, you might not even have to thin it out at all. But I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks to make these work for you. So these are the extensions I have. They're by Jay-Z Hair. Super pretty. So you want them to match, and the easiest way is going to be have a stylist tone them for you or have a stylist tone your hair to match. And make, But make sure you get as close as possible. As you can see, they blend really well. Just like that, like so you can't tell where your hair starts or where the other hair begins. So first, I'm just gonna part my hair. I kind of part off center a little bit. I actually had another stylist cut these extensions so that they did match my hair. You're always gonna want to have your extensions blended into your hair, especially if you have short hair like mine. So you gotta make sure that your hair extensions are healthy as well. I'm gonna use the BB Quenching Complex. This is generally supposed to be used on wet hair, but I actually use it on dry hair as well. I just kinda put it through my extensions. It's supposed to moisturize the hair which extensions aren't getting any of the moisture that is coming from your scalp. So it is really important that you keep those extensions healthy because they are not growing like your hair is. So once it breaks off, it breaks off. It's not growing back. So make sure that you are keeping your hair extensions healthy and you're using professional shampoos on them. Um, sulfate free is definitely a must with these hair extensions. So I have them numbered the way that I had them put in when he cut my hair too. One thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna defrizz my hair. I like to make my hair look a little bit smoother. There are several ways to put in clip-ins and sometimes you have to figure out what works best for you. This is what I found to be the best method, especially for short hair. I'm gonna take a section in the nape area and all my clips are at the salon, so I'm just gonna be using a ponytail today. So you are going to want to have something to attach the extension to, which is where backcombing comes in handy. So I'm just gonna backcomb this section. It is going to look kinda like that. And then I'm going to pick up my three clip. So one of the things that you're gonna to wanna to remember is it kind of depends on what hair extension company that you're going through. So you might get two two clips and two three clips or three three clips and two four clips. It, it just varies on the extension company how they like to do their hair extensions. So you're gonna wanna keep that in mind. So I have three three clips. I have a marked and so I'm just trying to remember where, which one goes where. All right, so I'm just gonna put the first three clip. Just secure it in to where I've teased the hair. Another thing that I do that is really handy and important with short hair is once I've secured it, I take these hairs that are behind my neck and I'm going to secure them with an elastic. So I'm basically hiding all these hairs. These are the hairs that are gonna get most, become most noticeable when you put your hair extensions in because they are just so short and very blunt in the back and you can just kind of see the shelf. Another thing is usually the hairs at the bottom of your neck are gonna be a little bit darker than the rest of your hair, just with most blondes, that's how it, how it is. So hiding them with short hair is sometimes the best option. So now I'm going to take another section. And back comb again. If you feel like your back combing is not holding, you can sometimes use hairspray. And now I'm going to take one of my two clips. Now you're 
up ahead once more. Just love me the way I, I just wanna dance with somebody. I just wanna this is where you're gonna use your other three clips. Right in this area. So now we've got like the sort of nape area done a little bit further up than that. Next, what, we, what we're going to do is called a, what's called a horseshoe section. This is going to be the parting that is going to be the very best for short hair. So basically what you're going to do is take from where your hairline starts to recede, where you see that kind of your hair usually goes kind of like out and then in, and where you see where that starts to recede, that's where you're going to make your part. So it's gonna look something a little like this. And then backcombing everything. You don't necessarily have to backcomb, but your extensions are more likely to slip out if you're not backcombing. So we have one four clip in this pack and we have one more three clip left over. But the three clip is going to go on the side with less hair. Four clip is going to go on the side with more hair. So usually when you're part, even if you're parting in the middle, sometimes it's a little bit off center. So my four clip is gonna go on the side that has more hair and my three clip is gonna go on the side that has less hair, even though it's just a little slightly different. I'm gonna start it pretty close to where my hair starts, but I don't want it to be seen. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of hair right there. Same on the other side. And the foreclip is gonna kind of go into the back. Just like that. Almost there. So here is where we're gonna put our, the rest of our two clips. The reason we do the horseshoe first is so we can kind of see where the clip needs to be, like by judging the thickness of the section. So I'm gonna go right in the middle. Now is the part where I'm gonna take down this horseshoe section. Crazy hair, we jumped ahead a little bit. So I went and looked in the back, saw wherever I needed to pin hair out. So I've got a little bit of a shelf right here. So I'm just gonna take this hair, take an elastic, pin that into everything. And we're just pinning it straight against the head. And I'm kind of pinning it into the hair extension below it as well so that it's completely covered. So now we are gonna figure out where our one clips are going. So I have four one clips here. I have had the front of my hair extensions kind of cut so that it frames my face into like face framing layers. So <clears throat> I've got some that are long and some that are short because they frame my face and just kind of go down. So the shorter one is going to be going on top, like higher, and the lower one's gonna be going lower. You can go up, above or up below the horseshoe. Usually you would put this one below the horseshoe, this one above, but you kind of just do it as you need. I'm gonna put it about right here. Again, I'm teasing. And then I'm gonna do likewise on the other side. So it goes like that. And now I'm gonna decide where to put the other one clip. And I feel like I'm gonna go below the horseshoe with this one. And I think I just kind of, I'm just gonna decide where I need the most. <clears throat> and I feel like right here is a really good spot. Ta-da! So they are gonna look way better once they're all curled. But for the most part, they seem like they blend okay. Now we're gonna curl. So make sure you're always using a heat protectant, especially on these. Like I said, they aren't gonna repair themselves. So I like to use the BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil. It is the Heat UV Protective Primer. So it's gonna protect against thermal heat and heat from the sun. I'm sorry, I'm not the most pretty. I'll never ever sing like Whitney. But I still wanna dance with somebody. Don't you? So let's let our hearts bleed till they turn to rust. Gonna live it up, cause it's dangerous. No, I don't wanna play the ball. I just wanna dance with somebody. I just wanna dance with somebody. I just wanna dance with somebody.
So now that we've done all the hair, we're gonna go through and brush it. That is the tutorial for you guys today. Let me know if you have any questions or want me to keep doing extension videos because I would love to do some more for you. And that's that. Yeah. Bye guys.